Hello guys, welcome to our game 613 and today I want to talk about this little mission that people keep going on about. It's getting a little bit annoying and it's totally fake. Yes, I'm talking about the ringing phone easter egg that is meant to be based upon Vice City, which I can guarantee you is not. Now, as you can see, these two phones over here, they are not ringing whatsoever. Now, people say that these when these phones ring and it's not just these two here they're actually more all about the one at the actual helipad but they're saying any phone that rings then it's going to be because of a um, a Vice City easter egg and people are saying it's confirmed now I believe it was Whizzle saying it's confirmed and Mittens has also done a video on it and I'm really I really feel bad that he's got into it now because he's one of the smaller YouTubers in the mystery community. Myself too, I am also a small one, I know that for a fact. But, to make yourself grow you shouldn't be talking about stuff that's total bullshit. And unfortunately that's where he's got himself stuck into. Now, personally, from what he was saying in his video, I believe he actually did believe into this mystery himself. So I don't think that he's got any bad rep from that. But the two that I want to call out on this are Whizzle and Phyllis Force because they are very big YouTubers in the mystery sector of YouTube. Now, I know they're not like multi-million subscriber channels, but they are still the people who people, some of the people who people look up to in this actual community. Now, I'm going to show you that these phones can actually ring with you when you're with Trevor because people are saying it's only when you're with Franklin or Michael and the thing you also have to be 100% completed which as you can see I've already got little orange markers on the screen which you can tell means that I'm definitely not 100% completed but I'll prove it anyway on here so there's my checklist 64% and you may be thinking but you've been showing off videos with UFOs in them and stuff with 100% completion that's because I have completed 100% so go to this game and show you the saves they're actually there, you've got the 100% there and stuff like that. Which is what I've already done. So why am why am I actually on 64% again? That's because I'm trying to replay the game in a separate way. Some of the stuff that uh, music videos talked about actually. So anyway, so this is not ringing. You can hear it's not ringing. So I'll go over here and we're not at 2 o'clock, we're at 8.30 in the morning. And what I'm going to do, as soon as these cars are gone, I'm going to do a cheat code. That cheat code will be for the buzzard attack chopper. There we go. As soon as I do that, these phones start to ring. You can hear that, yeah? If we go first person. You can hear it a little bit better. You can hear it like change when I go into the weapon menu. Listen. That's because it's obviously been slowed down so the sound of the actual film gets slowed down too. So that's basically what it is. It's just a little glitch that happens when you do a cheat code. And yes, there is videos of people doing it without cheat codes. But I'm guessing there's just like some kind of change in the game that causes these to just glitch out and just do a constant ring. Now, why are they ringing constantly? I'll show you on a separate phone that's a bit more quieter bit further down the road and show you why they actually ring because hopefully it'll still do it even when they already are, are already ringing and you'll soon see so here they are right here right next to the Blaine County Savings Bank Pardon me. Okay. let me get these people to shut up yeah these ones are actually ringing so forget your baseball bat out Right, let's get my gun out and get this guy away. <laughs> we'll get our baseball back out baseball back out again. And then we'll hit these here. So you can hear that. Yeah? Because drink, drink. And for some reason that noise repeats itself for whatever reason. And it's just some random glitch that happens. I don't understand why it happens. 
especially when you're just doing a cheat code because the first time I saw this happen was ages ago and it always happens for me in Blaine County for definite that's one place I can guarantee it to happen but people keep crashing into me what the hell but I don't understand why it happens so there could be a mystery behind that if anyone wants to look into that feel free to but I know it's definitely not a advice to teaster egg because why would a cheat code cause a phone to ring as an easter egg well, that is pretty weird in my opinion now do I think Whittle and Phil's force meant to deceive people not 100% I think they were just a little bit stuck for mystery ideas and wanted to make a video and I've been in that situation myself where I want to make a video but to be honest all I do is just not upload I still have a job, so maybe that's the reason why. I don't know if these guys actually have jobs outside of fault. YouTube. But... It's just one of the things where if you're going to make fake mystery videos, then you're going to end up with fake results all the time. And when that happens, you'll find that the mystery just never gets solved, and it's just really upsetting really to people who are actually working their butts off to solve this mystery and then there's people making fake videos on it You're giving out bad vibes. yeah they're giving out bad vibes like that guy said and these bad vibes are impromptu for a start I didn't expect that guy to say that um, but these bad vibes are just ruining the community and it's just not going to work out well Especially when you're one of the bigger YouTubers on the actual community, you shouldn't be doing this kind of thing. People start looking in the wrong places for stuff and just start getting all the stuff mixed up. So if you're going to make a mystery video or if you're stuck for a mystery video, go back to an old one or something. Just re-research re stuff and see what you can find. Because there's so many things where I've gone re back to them. Like even this uh, dam and all this other stuff. I found the aqueduct files and stuff. Which I've got a video to make about that actually as well. And you can make videos and videos on top of that and add new content to it each time and new information and all this kind of great stuff. And once we add all this information in that we've got for the actual items, that is when we'll start getting the mission solved because all these pieces will come together. We'll be able to segregate and rearrange them or whatever you want to say. And then it'll all be solved. So I know I've gone to a bit of a run at the moment and it's gone a little bit off the topic of the actual phones ringing but I just need to make my point towards these bigger YouTubers in the GTA mystery community that making up fake ideas just doesn't fly with people anymore it's just ruining the community and to be honest our community hasn't even kicked off properly yet so a handful of YouTubers that make decent amount of videos that are actually in the mystery community there is some that do dabble, like you get your 0.4 that dabbles in and out of actual mysteries. And then you get ones that are hardcore on it, like trippy and music video. And they make great videos. But once you start making fake videos, then guys, that's just not right. I am at Game613. I thank you for watching this video. If you did like this video, please leave a like. It helps my channel grow. I'm currently at 720 something subscribers. I'm saying 20 something because YouTube keeps going up and down, but that's a total different barrel of eggs to talk about. And yeah, so I'd love for my channel to grow a bit more, get the mystery stuff going on. There's a few games I want to look into mysteries on as well in, in the future videos. So obviously, one of the games will be just called 3. I've already got that game, had it for a while. Uh, also, Watch Dogs 2, bought that on release, and I want to see into that a bit more, because I'm sure there's got to be some things hidden in that world. Especially when you can hack things, and you can hack the little easter egg out or something, that's quite cool. And maybe, just maybe, I might get this game that's coming out tomorrow, the 6th of December that is, called Ark Evolved Survival, or Survival Evolved, or something shit like that. And that game basically is dinosaurs, but I reckon that there could be some little easter eggs hidden in that world someplace that we could find. 
and there's like a I've been watching some pictures that my friends have been sending over to me because they're probably excited about that game and their pictures are sending over uh, on like a little beach section of the game and it looks like the Lost Island to be honest so I reckon there could be some Lost Easter eggs in there that would be quite cool and it just caused two had a ton of just cause a um, ton of um, Lost Easter eggs including like the uh, ghosty smoke monster thing and all that kind of gear so I don't know this video has gone way too long now so yeah if you want to leave a like please do helps the channel grow as I already mentioned if you want to subscribe that'll be great you won't miss any more videos especially if you click that little bell but to be honest if you don't click the bell then I won't be disappointed on you because I never really click the bell myself on anyone's videos because the reason why I don't like that bell is people click it and then that person every time you upload a video they'll get a little notification saying your video's been uploaded which is all great and dandy and stuff but if you've got like 20 YouTubers and you've got that bell ticks on them all then you're just going to constantly get little no notifications that kill your battery by the end of the day so it's a bit, a bit stupid in the end and just kill your phone so you can watch the video anyway but whatever I to go S. So thank you very much for watching guys, if you did enjoy this then do what you like, like what you said already, I forgot I said that a bit, but yeah. I'm going to go up this hill, oh maybe not, yeah me too mate, me too, but let's go up this hill and end up this video, because that's where we want to be up here. So yeah, by the way guys, in the comment section, leave your thoughts on this um, easter egg, in quotes there. Uh, um, do you think it has, is actually a real easter egg? Can it be classed as an easter egg still, or do you think I am right and it's not an easter egg at all? It's just a glitch in the game, as usual, for most things. So yeah, do you find the thoughts section below. Especially about the YouTubers as well, do you think these people are intending to give us false information or do you think it's just an accident where they thought it might be something but just looked at it in the wrong way? I'd like to know that. I hope they have looked at it in the wrong way because these guys, I do love watching their videos. So I don't want them to be thought upon as bad people. But yeah, I don't know. That's it anyway guys. We're in Los Santos already, so we're gonna go. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye. Ooh. Zombie mode.